seems to me that what happens in the United States, what happens in China, and what happens in their interactions, especially in the economic sphere, are as important for the future of the world as any other developments that are going to play out over uh, the next uh, several uh, years. I do not find it difficult to construct scenarios or visions for the future in which the United States economy and the Chinese economy both flourish and the world flourishes. Unfortunately, I do not find it difficult to create scenarios in which the United States economy encounters substantial difficulty, the Chinese economy encounters substantial difficulty, and the world plays out in uh, conflict and much less human achievement than otherwise would have been possible. I find it difficult to imagine scenarios in which the United States succeeds, China does not, and the world works out well, or to imagine scenarios in which China succeeds and the United States does not, and uh, the world works out well. That means that the United States and China are engaged in what mathematicians would call a positive sum uh, game. That's not hard to see from a very basic kind of economic uh, analysis. Two entities in economics can be competitors. One can be the customer of uh, the other, or one can be the supplier to the other. If you think about it, it's good when your customer gets richer. It's good when your supplier gets to be more efficient. So I think it is immensely important that even as we recognize that we have very different concepts of how the world should be ordered, very different concepts of how our domestic economies should uh, be structured, that we have rather similar uh, interests in uh, mutual economic uh, success. And I think we are more likely to reach positive outcomes if we are more extensively engaged with dialogue with each other. Dialogue need not mean affection. It need not mean friendship. It, need, it may mean only mutual comprehension. But that kind of mutual comprehension is, I think, something that is going to be very, very important uh, going, uh, going further. I am concerned by developments on both sides of the Pacific. It sometimes seems to me that in the United States, every official wants to have a firmer posture towards China than the average position. And when everyone wants to get to a certain place relative to the average, there is a natural and adverse escalatory cycle. And so my hope is that there will be a growing recognition that the United States and China are like two strong men in a rowboat, a lifeboat, um, in a turbulent sea a long way from the shore. Both of them need to be rowing in unison if they are going to get to that shore. And their feelings are not really what's important. Their appreciation for each other's lifestyle is not what's important. What is important 
is getting their pulling of the oars into some kind of unison so that both can get to the shore, survive, and flourish. And that is what I think we need between China and the United States.